up there. Now's the time to start thinking about staying heart healthy. We have a series of events that begin this week aimed at keeping women aware of good heart health. Joining us now on the show to talk more about it, Dr. Layla Samian and Dr. Miriam Lewis, both from UF Health. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having us. Of course, such a hot topic, heart health. Women specifically, it's different for women and men, right? Is that why we need to kind of focus in on how it affects them? Yes, I think, you know, women's health um, and their heart health hasn't had as much focus as men's heart health and a woman's heart health can affect them through the whole spectrum of their life beginning from early years pregnancy through middle age and, and further so we're kind of focusing on all of women's health including their heart health at uf north with our new lecture series and what age do women really need to zero in on heart health even as children i mean if um if you're not eating properly um if there's childhood obesity um, so at a very young age, women should start focusing um, on improving their health, uh, improving their nutrition, um, exercising regularly, amongst many other issues. Um, one of the aims of the lecture series is to, as Dr. Simeon said, to bring attention and awareness to the fact that as women we don't often seek the medical attention we should, um, and to increase the awareness so that early intervention uh, is key. A lot of times women are busy caring for their children, their husband their parents, and they do forget about themselves. Yeah, you always put yourself last, you know, we're moms too, so you, you put yourself as the last priority, but uh, it can affect you through your whole life, you know, with obesity and, and everything kind of adds up. Um, I focus on breast health, um, so the lecture series will focus on various uh, issues that affect a woman's health throughout their life. Um, this first one, this Thursday, is gonna focus on breast health, um, Sleep, sleep uh, apnea, sleep issues, as well as heart health. So, um, and then we'll continue on to focus on um, the rest of other issues uh, through other spectrums of their life, through pregnancy and on. And what kind of issues do you see most frequently? Do you see women coming in when it's kind of like, okay, there's been a problem for a while, or what's common for you? Well, I mean, um, I focus on breast issues, but you know, even through early years or pregnancy, there's a lot of issues that can affect the women's breast, infections, uh, tumors that can grow, breast cancer can be missed. Um, and we also, we kind of want to maintain health throughout the whole life of a woman, um, which can affect you, early things can affect you as you go on through your life. And, and as far as heart health goes, how can women do that, really maintain on a daily basis, keeping that heart healthy? So again, um, regular exercise, nutrition, um, going to the doctor, um, early intervention is key. So being on top of it in the beginning is key. And um, Dr. Gladys Velarde, um, who is the coordinator um, of uh, the Women's Heart Health Program at UF North, she's really the one who's putting this together. Um, she will be addressing a lot of those questions in the series um, that's coming out over the next year or so. Yeah. And just to wrap up really quick, are there any red flags that people need to be aware of too? You know, like we said, sometimes a lot of, a lot of women ignore problems, but what should really be like, hey, you got to go to the doctor this isn't right? So it depends on what it is. If you're talking about cardiac health, um, any chest pain, shortness of breath, um, palpitations, um, a feeling that something is not right should uh, prompt you to seek medical attention. Yeah, don't ignore things is the main thing. If, yeah. you have, if you think something is not right, get it checked out. It's better to be safe than sorry. Um, uh, uncontrolled high, high blood pressure from pregnancy throughout the rest of your life can really affect your heart. Um, so Long term. Long term, absolutely. Well, thank you ladies for coming thank on this morning. Us. And if you want to get involved in the Prime of Your Life series, the first lecture is on Thursday. It starts at 1130 at UF Health North. We're going to post some information on the morning show page of our website, newsforjacks.com. After the show, you can share it with your friends and invite them as well.